Hey guys, RPM here. Hope y'all doing well and having a really great day. In this video, I have just been sent a new ASIC mining hash board. And this is specifically for my Gold Shell LT Lite. This is the new Litecoin edition slash merge mining ASIC miner from Gold Shell. They're Lite series, so these are extremely quiet. So for some that have may possibly been following my videos the past couple weeks here, when I received my new Gold Shell LT Lite, it was, I don't know, in the packaging it was really damaged outside and also when I shook the ASIC miner something seemed loose. And so in the previous video like a week or two ago, we tested out that it happened to be one of the boards that didn't work. And we ultimately tested out that, you know, swapping the power cables, it still didn't work, but we know that this hashing board does work. And so, Gold Shell, if you guys, just a quick story, Gold Shell contacted me about, I think about 18 hours after that video went up and they said, Red Panda, we're so sorry, we're gonna send you a new hashing board. And actually before that, they wanted to log into my laptop and TeamViewer into, uh, just to remote test and debug the LT light and that was really cool really awesome really great support from them and really thank you to also to crypto miner bros who sent me this LT light dogecoin miner 1620 mega hash and uh, for people just wondering the power consumption it is supposed to be about 1450 watts for that much mega hash mining litecoin and then merge mine dogecoin just in case some people were wondering so that was a process now for the past couple of weeks and then now today about i would say a week later gold shell has shipped me a new hashing board here okay so very similar to the one that goes uh, that was right here i just have to slide this new guy into this slot here and then screw in into the uh, bus bars right here which i do have the two original screws. Thankfully this thing has been sitting like this for I think two weeks now. And so then I had to send back the one that didn't work and I, I paid about I think almost a hundred dollars in shipping to Hong Kong which was quite a bit. I was shocked how much shipping was for such a, a little tiny part here but ultimately we got a new one here and so let's test it out in this video my friends. Let me go ahead and uh, just slide it in. I'm gonna need two hands for this. Quick pause, this video is sponsored by Wadham.io. Wadham is a complete Bitcoin mining solutions provider and the largest distributor of Bitcoin mining equipment in the United States. Wadham has got all your mining needs covered by offering everything from the latest ASIC miners to mobile mining containers and power transformers, as well as complete hosting services and full facility buildouts. Their team of over 100 mining experts has got you covered by offering exceptional customer service. They also offer installment payment plans, which makes getting into Bitcoin mining or scaling your existing mining operations that much easier. Link down below to wadham.io slash RPM. Perfect. Okay. All right. That slid in just perfect. There is a notch like in there. There's a notch on the other side here that basically slides this metal part straight in. Just perfect. Okay. I need to screw in the screws and just going to put these in like this for now. This one goes here. I'll just get a screwdriver and then uh, this power plug will just simply go uh, into here. All right, that clicked in. Okay, let me get my screwdriver. I really hope this works. That'd be funny if this didn't work. And it maybe could have been the, uh, the control board. But I, I'm, I'm gonna assume that this new board is gonna work. All right, so we're not gonna put in the fans or anything. We don't need to do that. Let me just triple check that I screwed this in correctly. Okay, give it a little wiggle and all right, looks good. Okay, I'm gonna keep the fans out here. Okay, let's go ahead and turn it on and see if there's any smoke. Here we go, three, two, one. Okay. <laughs> I 
All right, did the smell test. I don't smell anything burning, so that's a good sign. Uh, I know that it should be a blue light. I know there's a blue light on here, and there should be a blue light coming on the other one, but that's of course that this thing is just turning on right now. Nothing on the laptop yet. Oh, there we go, just turned on. All right, I can feel it ramping up as well. I can feel some, some airflow coming from the front fans. It's pretty cool. Okay, so it's blue lights right now, so that means I should be able to see this in the web GUI. And you know what? I probably have to do the advanced IP scanner. Okay, so it got a new IP address because it's been like a week as this thing has been off. But look at that. We can see now we're getting 1,508 mega hash. And I guess the biggest thing is we can now see two of the hashing boards work. The previous time we had CPB0 fail. All right, so it looks like this new hashing board is working. Thank you so much, Goldshell. This is, this is great. This is great. This is one of the first times I've ever had to do support with an ASIC mining manufacturer. I've never dealt with, you know, Bitmain. I've never dealt with Inosilicon. This is one of the first times ever. So with Gold Shell, I have to say my experience so far is really good, but I'm going to have to say it's because that's a given as I'm the content creator. I am the YouTuber. So as uh, Gold Shell has to make sure the service and support to me has to be well done or else, you know, I'm going to I'm gonna talk bad about them or make a video about them, right? As, you, <laughs> as I made the video showing you guys that I received a gold shell ASIC that had a bad hashing board. Why not, right? And I guess it was fun for me to go through this whole process. And it was a process, right? I had to ship out the existing one, right? The old one that didn't work and pay a hundred bucks to do that. Gold shell did though, they did say they would refund me, but I said, you know what? Don't worry about it. Crypto Miner Bros already sent this to me. I, I'm fine with paying the $100 shipping cost for the uh, the hashing board. But, you know, ultimately, guys, looks like it's working. Let me refresh one more time here. Yeah, nothing's failed. And right now, in my face, I do feel a lot of heat coming out of this back here. So I'm going to put this together and uh, get this going. And you guys are probably wondering how the profitability is. But you know what? Let me just go ahead and... I gotta, I gotta put everything back together. I gotta put the lid back on the top and everything and uh, just make sure this thing still works after doing that. So uh, guys, let me just do that real quick. There we go. I actually put everything back together while it was still mining. It was a little bit hard, but it was not bad. Pretty easy actually to put everything back together. Okay, so now that it's going and just to verify, I wanna verify with you all, it's been about 20 minutes let me f5 about 20 minutes and it has been hashing no problem thus far about 800 mega hash on each of these hash boards that's pretty cool it's pumping out a lot of heat i can feel it it's about it says 79 degrees celsius coming out of here definitely definitely feels like that one thing i want to talk about real quick is the profitability so you guys know the market has tanked quite a bit and so what's the profitability of this gold shell LT light now? So I have inputted all the numbers here, the hash rates for Litecoin and uh, this what to mine calculator has a nice little, I guess, merge mining calculator with Dogecoin. So that's pretty cool here. 16, 20 mega hash. And I put 1450 in terms of the power, 10 cent kilowatt hour. And uh, let's just hit calculate one more time here. And you can see here, a day, we're supposed to make 0.0245 Litecoin, or yield 0.0245 Litecoin a day, which is not bad, I say. But then in Dogecoin, we're supposed to yield about 46.6 Dogecoin a day. And then in terms of the fiat values here of everything together with the Litecoin and Dogecoin is about, if you had free electric, it would be worth about $5.72 a day and uh, the cost would be about $3.48 in electric, which is quite a bit for this guy. And then the profit you would make after all that is $2.24. $2.24 now on this Gold Shell LT Lite, which is, I mean, okay, so how much is this thing that you can buy right now? So on Crypto Miner Bros, 
it shows that it's $4,700. $4, what else could you buy that could potentially make, you know, $2.24 a day right now? Uh, let, let's just, let's go, let's go to what to mine. Let me open up a new tab here. Let's go to, let's just say, let's say uh, RTX 3070 Ti. Just, just an example. Just, uh, let's just pick one GPU. And uh, let's hit calculate. And uh, let's see, we, well obviously Ethereum is the most profitable right now, but they, that may change as Ethereum moves to uh, proof of stake, the merge, right? So a 3070 Ti right now makes $1.54 as of right now. What would you rather buy, a GPU or a Gold Shell LT Lite, which makes about $2 a day right now, $2.24, right? Which, which, is, which costs about $4,700, $4,600. And then a, a GPU, like a 3070 Ti is what? 600, 700 bucks? Really depends how you look at it. Like those, maybe those that believe in Litecoin and maybe Dogecoin, then those guys are probably gonna buy this. As I did talk about that this ASIC miner is pretty efficient against the other ASIC miners. And I think the most efficient one is obviously Bitmain L7, which is out now, you guys all know, but that thing's worth like over 20 grand. But you know, maybe this one might be a potential one for those that want to mine at home quietly as these have the quieter fans and it's not loud at all. Like, can you guys hear that? Like this thing, it, you, you guys can probably hear my, my GPUs, but I, honestly, I can't, I can't hear this Gold Shell LT Lite. That, that's, I, I guess that's one of the biggest things that Gold Shell markets this ASIC miner is for basically you can mine with it at home, anywhere you like. And I believe this thing has Wi-Fi as well. Let me just check if this thing has Wi-Fi. Oh, that's too bad. It does not have Wi-Fi. So you can't just put this in your like living room or something. I mean, you could if your house has wired for internet, but uh, Anyways guys, let me know your thoughts and thank you again to Gold Shell for sending me a new hash board. It's working good now and uh, also Crypto Miner Bros for sending this to me. But let me know what you guys think about this and uh, the Gold Shell support that I received with uh, getting the new hash board. Alright, see you guys later. Have a good one and peace out.